Have you seen this yet? This just might give ChatGPT and Bard a run for its money. This is called Claude 2.0, and today we are going to dive into it, what the differences are between it, ChatGPT, Bard, play around with it a bit more, and even see if it is better than ChatGPT's code interpreter. Let's get into it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You gotta back up. What exactly even is Claude? Let's start with the basics. All right, all right, I hear you. Before we jump into anything, we really need to understand what exactly is Claude. The first version of Claude came out about five months ago and Claude 2.0 has had some major upgrades. But before we even get into what those upgrades are, one thing that's important to note is actually, it is built by two former OpenAI employees. So you can kind of see the parallels here and where this is going. Let's dive in a little bit more into what Claude 2.0 in particular really offers. Claude 2.0 has been characterized as an AI powerhouse. Uh, the news articles, social media, it's really coming up as to be the next, the new, the best, ChatGPT. And it's for a good reason. It is capable of digesting up to 100,000 tokens, roughly the equivalent to 75,000 words in a single prompt. One of my biggest frustrations with ChatGPT, even as a plus user, is the amount of text that I can input in one prompt. And this is often due to when I want it to summarize a long article for me, or uh, yeah, that's typically the case, and it's too long, and I have to break it down. So this is really great. And actually, this is a huge leap from Claude's previous version, which was a 9,000 token limit, which is a huge advantage. The AI's ability to provide responses in a more contextual and improved manner. Okay, let's talk about its testing abilities. So it's made multiple strides since the first version of itself. According to Anthropic, who is the parent company of Claude, Claude 2 scored 76.5% in the bar exams multiple choice section. And for comparison's sake, GPT 3.5 achieved 50.3% and achieved a score higher than 90% of graduate school applicants in the GRE reading and writing exams. Now let's get into how it is for coding. It scored a 71.2% on the Codex Human Evil Python coding test and an 88% on GSM 8K grade school math problems. This AI, it's smart. It's, I mean, it's smarter than GPT 3.5, at least in a few areas that we just saw. And it really, from my perspective, when I started playing around with it, is much more user-friendly experience. I felt more comfortable there. I don't know why. All right, but let's get into battle of the bots. Well, it's not really bots, battle of the AI. Claude versus ChatGPT versus Bard. I'm gonna share with you some points so you can really make a decision as to which one you think is best. Let's start with price. So ChatGPT is free for those using the GPT 3.5 version. For those who want to move to the more powerful version, which I was just mentioning, GPT-4, you have to pay $20 per month. Claude is free, Bard is free. Now let's go into availability. Where can you access these AIs? ChatGPT is most widely available. It's been around for the longest per se, and you can really access it, I believe, most places of the world, if not all. Bard is available in fewer countries than ChatGPT, but still really rolling out quickly. Now Claude is temporarily available in only the US and UK. You might be asking, well, Tiff, you're in Canada. How do you have access? It's called a VPN. That's how I have access. All right, let's get into privacy. ChatGPT lets users delete their interactions and does not support browsing through a VPN. When I have my VPN on, it blocks me. It doesn't like me. Bard has the option to delete interactions in 18 months. It does not let users retrieve previous interactions. It supports VPNs though, which is a plus. And Claude lets users delete their own conversations and of course, supports VPNs. Well, how does Claude even compare to Code Interpreter? Fill me in. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about as that Tiff just asked, is what is it like compared to Code Interpreter? I have a lot of coders who watch these videos. I am a coder. How does that stack up? Well, it's really hard to compare the two, and I've seen a ton of different videos online saying Claude is way better or outperforms ChatGPT's Code Interpreter plugin. And I would say it depends on what your expectations are, meaning, ChatGPT's Code Interpreter plugin is very specific to data. It is, it's using Python. You can create really interesting graphs, some GIFs. Uh, it's, it's, it's cool. I, I don't get overly excited about it, but it's cool. Whereas with Claude, I found it does all of that plus, plus, plus. You can interact with it in many different languages past just Python, uh, but it's different comparing a plugin to the entire chatbot. So I do think from a better user experience, Claude is definitely stacking up compared to Code Interpreter. Okay, enough of you talking, enough, enough. Let's just get into it. I wanna see this. Fair. 
let's just get into it. Okay, you can see here on screen, I am logged into Claude. It's claude.ai and I just signed in. As I mentioned, it's completely free, which is great. And yesterday I was tinkering around on this. You can see here, Python rock, paper, scissors game. They also give you some prompts to start with uh, as examples. So whether you want to attach a PDF, help me practice something, explain how this works. That's what I did yesterday was explain how this Python game works. Didn't input a Python game, it just gave me one, which is the rock, paper, scissors. And also too, you can add files, which is great. So let's go ahead and let's try again, explain how this Python game works and see what it gives me. All right, so you can see here, it gives us the code. And then also too, it really breaks down. Like, first of all, can we just talk about how nice this UI is? Why do I like this UI so much? I don't, I don't know. Am I alone on this? Please let me know. Uh, but it does do a really good job of breaking it down. So this code implements a simple rock, paper, scissors game. It talks about each function that's used and then it summarizes it pretty nicely. And then also too, you can copy or retry. Now I wanna do something where it's like I upload a uh, CSV similar to what I do with Code Interpreter inside ChatGPT and see if it is able to produce a graph for me. Let's do this, okay. Let me go here, add, and where was the CSV I did a while ago? All right, we're gonna have to blur this out because you know, I love you, but we can't get that personal. Let's see here, CSV. Oh, you know what? I might have deleted it. Okay, one sec. Okay, I got the uh, CSV I'm going to use for both Claude and then ChatGPT. Let me go back, open menu. Okay, let me go here and say, create a plot a graph with the data in the CSV. Let's keep it simple. And I gotta make sure I use this exact prompt when I'm using Code Interpreter. Now keep in mind, this is not using a plugin. It's just using their main chat AI versus when I go into ChatGPT, it's using a specific plugin, a plugin that's specific for this task. So it'll be interesting to see how it compares. So let's do headlines, open. This is too big is the question. Uh, yeah, I think it is. Well, let's see what it does. All right, so it can't visualize graphs directly. I can analyze the data in the CSV file and describe it. All right, this is interesting. You can hear my Skype going off. <laughs> Quit. Who uses Skype, by the way? That's what someone commented the other day when I said my Skype was going to be like, you still use Skype? Ew. I don't know, I do. <laughs> do you use Skype? Okay, we're getting off track here. All right, so yeah, very interesting. Uh, the file contains daily headline sentiment, sentiment scores ranging from negative one to positive for the New York Times over a period of 30 days. Yes, by the way, I did uh, headlines for the New York Times. All right, so you can see here, let's now go into, I gotta turn my VPN off and I'm gonna go do the same thing, plot a graph. Of course, it will actually have the visual aspect now, but see what kind of data we get from ChatGPT Code Interpreter. You can see it, perfect. Great, so now let's go to ChatGPT4, Code Interpreter, and attach the same CSV headlines. I'm trying to show you the headline CSV, I should have done that to start with. It's taking too long, but you get the point. It's basically headlines from, the first issue we run into is file is too large. All right, that is an issue. Well, let's see if we can make it smaller. Let's see. How big is, what did it say the max was? Let's see here. Let's try the other one then. Okay. Plot a graph with the data in the CSV. Let's see what it comes back with. Working. I still really like how Code Interpreter actually shows you what it's doing, the work it's putting into it. Um, and then of course we will get the graph back. So. All in all, I think Claude 2.0, based on the reasons I listed earlier, is a better user experience right now. They're very close to each other. Uh, I really like the UI. I don't know why it's so similar to this. Really curious to get your take on that because I keep on getting caught up on that. I mean, this graph is intense. It's definitely not for the average viewer even looking at it now. So yes, I, I think Claude 2.0 wins on my heart for my favorite chatbot right now, uh, but, 
code interpreter, of course, is better for this specific task because that's what it's designated to do. So these videos saying that code interpreter is not good as good as Claude, I don't understand. I mean, I've seen the videos and I don't, I don't, I think it's just for the hype. Curious to hear your takes though. I will link Claude down below. I would link ChatGPT, but I'm sure you all already have it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video going through some of the major different chat bots out there right now from Bard, from ChatGPT, and now Claude coming on the market. I think with more coming on the market, it's going to push them to continue to really evolve at a very quick pace, which could be interesting. Okay, I have construction going on, starting up again. Bye everyone. Hit the subscribe.